see. We've got the characters, got the stage. Here we go. Pulling up. Got Noe with Zim. Zim. Cam with the Michelangelo. Cam is one of your highest seats here at the tournament. So we're going to see how far he can make it or if Noe has something to say about that. Okay. And Zim, of course, one of those characters that plays a little bit of a slower game. You know, yeah. tries to space out with that Nair. Um, that Nair is wild. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> it, uh, like, for good reasons and bad at the same time, right? Yeah. Like, <laughs> it has good range, but it's not active very long. Mm -hmm. So you really have to, like, time your pressing of that button. Yes. And then, Meanwhile, Michelangelo yeah. <laughs> we, uh, was so good he got banned at SmashCon, yeah. but thankfully this is post Mikey patch, so not going to be cheating no more. Yeah, even then, like, still schnasty. Like, I mean, did oh, we yeah. see that? That was, like, insanely efficient. <laughs> mm -hmm. His recovery is still one of the best in the games by far. Like, a tether recovery in this game yeah. is just, like, seemingly infinite distance. Why not? Especially where, like, so many other characters have, like, terrible recoveries in this game, and yes. then you just have Mikey who's like, ah, whatever. Okay, and Noe trying to get something started here. Maybe facing out, gets grabbed. She's doing a good job at keeping Cam in the air whenever she gets him up there. So I'm liking that. Just needs to convert a little bit more damage-wise, but neutral-wise, she's doing really good. Yeah, and I think Cam, you know, definitely putting on that pressure, going for the throws, attempts to go for a tech chase, doesn't find it. And I feel like Noe hasn't really had a chance to get any of those traps really started. You know, you throw out a Gur here and there, but like, Nothing's really connecting. The gnomes haven't really done anything for yep. him. And the pizza's Ooh. doing a good job of keeping out of Noe's projectiles, too. So it's like Cam's kind of ready to counter her game style with his own and then do a little extra beyond that. Yeah, I mean, you were saying Cam is one of the top seeds and clearly for a reason here, potentially on the verge of getting a three stock, 152%. You know, one strong hit from Noe if she can find it, but these parries mm -hmm. from Cam are going to make it difficult. Okay, got the stock, though. Let's see how much more we can get. Okay, a little pizza toss there, mm -hmm. at least for an opening. Doesn't convert into much damage though, but I mean the movement from Cam right now. It's good, I like it. Okay. Oh man, it's like how how do you get in as Zim here? How do you, <laughs> or I guess like how do you keep yeah. Cam out is really the question. Like some of the aerials are winning, but then it's like Cam is reversing every neutral situation right in his favorite so well. Yeah, it, it, it's going to be tough. I mean, we're seeing here, you know, looking for probably one good attack here. It's not like Zim's particularly heavy either, so. Yeah. Okay. A little couple signs of life here, though, from Noe. Yeah. Nice. Honestly, like, the longer the Ooh. game is going on, like, the more it's going into her favor. So even if game one goes to Cam, like, game two could be a completely different story. Yeah, I mean, we're seeing now that, like, the setups are working. They're connecting. Not quite a KO there, but I think Noe has established what she wants her game plan to be. Yes. The Gur setups are much better now. The dash attack, like, going in with them is working really well, but not. it's, it's too little, too late. Otherwise, Cam was able to kind of seal it out after such an amazing, like, early game lead. Hey, yeah, this this could be crazy. Oh man, and just like that, the Zim was showing signs of life toward mm -hmm. the end there. We saw some setups. We saw like quite a few consecutive hits, and that's always a good sign when you're playing a zoner, right? Where it's like someone's trying to get it in, and then you're hitting them, and yeah. they try to get back in again. And you hit them again. It means you're getting a read on what their movement patterns are, and then you're able to stuff them out. So we're gonna see if Cam's mm -hmm. able to make the adjustments. Or if Noe starts playing this game the way that she ended the last one, yes. this could be a completely different story for Cam. I agree with going back to the stage. Like like we were both saying, the ending of the last game was a little bit better. And I think that like Noe's doing a good job of utilizing the platform. Like in terms of stage width, it's working out for her. So I think this is better than a different counter pick, so I like it. Just keep me with Jellyfish. Now one thing I will say that I do like from Cam though is that every time Noe tries to put out these gnomes, Cam is yes. immediately hitting it. Hitboxes everywhere. Yeah. Getting ready to get rid of them immediately. It just makes it so much tougher to keep Mikey out if you don't get a chance to set up your tools here. But this might be an opportunity. Throws down a girl. There goes the gnome. Mm -hmm. And maybe hide behind it. No, doesn't really get a chance to use yeah. it at all. Ooh, Ooh Bailey recovers yeah, great speed spot there. Okay. We're basically tied here. No, he's doing it. Yeah, we got ourselves an even game here. Go ahead, drop that girl. Oh, whoa. Okay, DI wasn't wasn't Noe's friend there, but yeah. managed to make it back. Nice. Projectile placement is getting better and better as the game goes on. Sometimes it takes some uh, getting used to adjusting here when Dang. you're playing on like if you're more of a PC player mm -hmm. or it's like these are maybe some of your first matches of the day of the whole weekend. Oh, Noe! Gets the first stock. Let's go. That's what we like to see. 
Cam, what's your answer going to be? Well, Ooh, that's really an answer. good answer. Yeah. Get the tech chase grab, <laughs> convert off the grab, everything. Okay, there we go. Oh, I'm not quite going to be able to get the conversion off with the missed tech there, but it's going to be mm -hmm. okay. Looks like Novi still playing full of heart. Drops the Gur, pushing yep. to the side. Oh, that was great DI from Cam, though, on that second hit. I love the combo that Cam was working on there, but uh, Novi was able to turn wow. around pretty good, but here we go off stage. This is close. Oh, needs to land. That's the big issue here. Getting forced into the corner, stuck in the corner still. Going to have to go ahead and go for that sweet spot yet again. Really Perfect. good job on those, though. Right? Ah, dang. There it is. Like it. Yeah, tall enough character. I almost feel like Cam, like this is going to sound bad, but just like, should like mash a little bit more. Just put out some more hitboxes. Every single time Cam is just kind of going like with more aerial usage, just putting it out there. I feel like Noe's having a harder time getting in, but like the more he kind of like keeps safe or like calm mm -hmm. and neutral, go more aggro, get in there, get past the projectiles and just open it up. No, I, I'm inclined to agree a little bit because like Zim doesn't really have the best boxing tools, you mm -hmm. know? So like if you yep. just kind of overrun Zim with hitboxes, like, like what's Zim going to do about it? Yeah. You know, like it's nothing. <laughs> the answer is nothing. Mikey's narrow is good, hella good pre-pass, but still good. <laughs> still, just use yeah. it, put it in front of you. And even with that said, I mean, you know, backseat criticizes aside, like yeah. Cam is steadily in the lead right now, mm -hmm. racking up a little bit of extra damage, trying to make sure that if he does end up losing the stock, 60% is not bad. Not at all. Okay. Now, Noe, I'd love to see her bring this to a game three. Yep. You can see Cam still hitting that gnome immediately upon arrival. Yes. But need to be careful because sometimes if you hit the gnome, sometimes the girl will be there waiting for you. Mm -hmm. Right now, there we go. We get the neutral opening. Good little conversion off that. I like that. That brought up back. Now tied. Yeah, that was a good amount of damage off of that one little skirmish. And now, Noe fighting back here. But it's going to be a lot tougher for Noe to find the KO in comparison to Cam. Yeah. So Noe's really going to have to beef up the defense a little bit if she wants to have a chance of taking this game. And I feel like throughout these two games, Cam has done a better job in kind of finding the kills. Like, Noe's been getting better better at finding Ooh. damage. But the final kill conversion, Cam's been doing stronger. Oh. Ah, there it is. yeah, just kept with the aggression yes. like you were saying earlier. Like, just go out there and put out hitboxes because what is Zim going to do? And that ends up spelling Noe's Doom at the end there. But game two was such an improvement it in was. comparison to game one. Like, I really thought that game could have gone or that set could have gone to game really three. Really good. Yeah, 100% good. Perfect kind of match to, like, go back and watch your boss mm -hmm. from BTS. Like, go check them out. Hear what we're talking about with it. Rewatch your gameplay. Make a couple small adjustments. Keep going further through pools. You got this. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm definitely like that's a player that can like very easily make it extremely far. Oh so yeah, hundred percent. I, I I believe on that end, but I mean, Jen, like we are zooming, like yeah, because we were talking about earlier, like some. Sets can go really fast, and mm -hmm. some can be slower, right? Like, and if Zim is on the screen, yes. you know it's going to be slower paced. Mm -hmm. But even like that, it still feels like you went by in a flash. Like, three different projectiles at that. And like, the longer the game went on, she was placing them more intelligently. Mm -hmm. So, like, if you would hit the gnome away, there is the Gur right there, or vice versa. Or if you would pick up the gnome, or if you would pick up the Gur, then there could be a gnome right there, or anything. And the gnome placement was good, too, because it was like, Mikey is like a pretty tall character yes. all things considered so like you're able to put it a little bit higher and know that it'll still cover you know like a tech away or something yeah. yes exactly oh man okay but it sounds like we got some juice for y'all just oh, more yeah. juice, more like some tea this uh this event main stage beyond the summit has a lot of amazing partners here we got to talk about mate mate for one of them and so besides being the energy you need to get through your day we're also going to be running a full kind of like photo contest so go on instagram post your most creative mate mate photo use the hashtag mate mate contest 21 and tag and follow at mate mate dot official and we're going to be announcing the winner with the grand prize of a nintendo switch live here on sunday yeah and i'm like i don't know about y'all but uh i want to switch so i mean i have one but yeah. i wouldn't mind too could always get another one get one <laughs> on the go one for home it's nice one Keep for it in streaming the back yeah all right but with that said that's going to be it for now. Yes. We'll be back in like a little bit. Just yes. like a little bit. Don't we go got anywhere. people ready, so yeah. just, don't wait too just, long. Just, just pause. We're going to have a little break. We'll be back with you in just a moment.